Jumpstarting Global Eco Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 198. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 198, January 8th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all the written content for the Cosmos lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of Cosmos is now 100% completely written on our website. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the play lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the consciousness lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team finished updating the anchor links on all the new food pages, vegan rice recipes and omnivore rice recipes, vegan potato recipes and omnivore potato recipes, vegan sweet potato recipes and omnivore sweet potato recipes, and the vegan pasta recipes and omnivore pasta recipes pages, bringing all of the pages to approximately 60% complete. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team, working with Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 20 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was behind the scenes writing and editing of the sustainable site selection, planning and preparation Google Doc that also contains the site clearing, preparation and maintenance details. You can see some of this work here. The core team also created 20 new pages of the web infrastructure for sustainable villages number three through seven. You can see a collage of this work here and access them all through the sitemap. And we created these five new layout outlines for the seven villages online book. The core team also created and added to the book and website these two final renders of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 Dance Studio and the Music Room. In addition to this, the core team continued working on the renders for the communal eco-shower structures that are part of the Earthbag Village Pod 1. This week we updated the texture of the walls, adjusted the lighting, and added internal details. Adrian gould Choquet, mechanical engineer, also finished her third week with the team, helping work on the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template we are creating. This week's focus was adding a line weight index and updating and testing the tutorial 
by beginning to apply it to the shipping container village, Pod 5, as shown here. Liani Zhao, mechanical engineer, completed his third week of working on the Net Zero communal bathroom modeling. This week's focus was continued modeling of the structure and internal details for the shower structure and Net Zero bathrooms in the Earthbag village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 50 of his work that continues focusing on internal home views. What you are seeing is a series of 66 renders, the final seven are new, showing the testing and development of the lighting in one of these units. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 25th week helping with the compressed earthblock village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was window and front entryway design and updates, as shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earthblock village external elements. What you see here is her 15th week of work, focusing on the elevations around the meditation labyrinth, more walkway details, and pergola and gazebo designs north side of the east wing of the village. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also created this new and final main shipping container village render, fixing several alignment issues and external elements. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued developing the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book. What you see here is week 19 of this work that produced new versions of pages 54 and 55, shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render and book layout creation for the Dubuque City Center. This included adding people to this render of the outside portion of the natural pool and this new layout for the page of the book that will feature the pool in the library. The core team also created a new render for the natural pool area inside the Dubuque City Center Social Dome. We removed a few plants to open up the area and added additional lighting and other aesthetic details. Guy Grossfeld began working on adding food and people to this render of the city center root cellar. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shunani, masters of mechanical engineering and civil engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's work was initial section drawings for the braces, as shown here. Ram Yavudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the electrical and control and automation systems designs for the city center with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant. Here are pictures of this week's collaborative call. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Dakota Kaiser, ambassador of the Tribe of Awakening Sovereignty, began developing a new open source and replicable annual social media strategy. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also completed the search engine functionality for the highest good education component. You can see a collage of this new functionality here. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, continued working on setting up the search engine icons and code for all the open source components of the Highest Good Housing Village, numbers 3 through 7. One community is jumpstarting global eco communities through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do it yourself instructions for what we call Highest Good Living. Highest Good Living encompasses all of the foundations of sustainability, which we have divided into two categories physical sustainability and emotional sustainability. And we're putting these two concepts together, the physical and emotional sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability that we think will provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. Using this model to jumpstart global eco communities through open source, free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and all the different categories, the physical sustainability categories being food, energy, and housing, and the emotional sustainability categories being highest good education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living, practices, and true earth stewardship. 
creating that evolution of sustainability as a physical location that people will be able to visit and experience everything that one community is meant to represent and then take the aspects of it and all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions and blueprints necessary to replicate them and then duplicate whatever aspects they like the most. Jumpstarting global eco communities through a replicable model that is made easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough so that it will ultimately, in our opinion, spread on its own. Easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrated as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own because of the way of living that people will experience that we think most people will feel is better than the way they're living right now. This is our idea. This is how, this is what one community is creating. All the blueprints, tools, tutorials, everything that we're creating right now is building to that point where we actually construct one community and then open our doors wide to invite eventually hunt first hundreds of people, then thousands of people, eventually tens of thousands of people to come and visit and experience everything that one community is, everything that one community offers and everything that one community represents. And if people like it, if people enjoy what they experience, they'll be able to take it out and replicate it for themselves, creating their own teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, or just their own place, sustainable place to live. But in its best and true form, a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub designed to teach others how to create a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub too. The idea being that our model for jumpstarting global eco communities is just one model. And if somebody else has a better idea for jumpstarting global eco communities, we hope that they will create a second model built off of our plans, hopefully to make their life easier, and then sharing their adaptations and changes so that now we have two models. Using those two models then to inspire an additional two models each, so four models, then eight, then 16, then 32, and so on and so forth, spreading the concept and the teacher demonstration models around the planet creating a multitude of different options and iterations and designs and versions of the same thing or completely different things, but open sourcing and free sharing all of them so that jumpstarting global eco communities becomes easier and easier as time goes on. This is how one community is creating change. This is why we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all to help us create this. People that believe that a sustainable planet is not only possible, but it's possible within our lifetime. And we're bringing together people that think this way, that believe that it's possible, that want to create a world that truly works for everybody, and we are doing it. 100% volunteer, non-profit, non-governmental organization creating everything that we do open source and free shared so that other people can use that, replicate it, adapt it, modify it to meet their needs, and hopefully to spawn new ideas, more iterations, etc., etc. This is what one community is doing. This is what we're creating. If this sounds fun to you, exciting to you, join us, get involved, join our all volunteer team, come and be a part of the creative process. We are creating the future. And if it's something that you'd like to be a part of, if you'd like to live this way, join us as a pioneer. Our goal is to get on the property and build full time as a group endlessly. And so if that sounds like your idea of a good time, if you'd like to be a part of that, join our team, join the core team that will move to the property or join us as a satellite member. People that are on our weekly calls and operating behind the scenes or just join us as a volunteer. Or if you want the easiest way to participate, the easiest way to help, share our information on social media, like this video, Share this video, share any of our pages on social media, help us spread the word. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access the information, to share the information, and to spread the information so that we can ultimately reach that tipping point of global participation where we can positively and permanently change this world for the betterment of everyone and everything living on it. Creating a sustainable planet, sustainable civilization, all through jumpstarting global eco communities, which is happening right now. And people ask, well, what's the biggest thing that would help one community? We're still looking at the property off the market that we have been working around now for over six years, We've been focusing on this property, we've established relationships with the county, but we don't own the property yet. So if you or somebody you know has the means and resources to help us get the property off the market, we would love to speak with you. Other than that, the small donations make a big difference. The $5 donations, $10 donations, $20, $50, $100, we're an all-volunteer, unpaid staff. 
including myself. But the expenses of running an organization like this are still significant. So those donations really help us cover our website expenses and all the other things that are associated with a global nonprofit organization like ours, most of which are actually, surprisingly, website expenses, security, and everything else that's associated with a website like ours. This is how one community is creating global change. Anybody can participate. It doesn't take any money. Anybody can participate just by volunteering your time just by sending us an email for how to improve things, for making comments on our videos or for reading our pages. If you notice something that's spelled wrong or a link that doesn't work, all those, there's lots of different ways that people can help and we're trying to make it as easy as possible or by joining our team as a volunteer. A better world is possible. Jumpstarting global eco communities as a pathway to a completely sustainable global model has the potential to positively and permanently change the lives of everybody living here. We can reach that tipping point. It's not an issue of resources and it's definitely not an issue of technology anymore. It's just a matter of participation. And so one community is clearing away the boundaries, the barriers uh, to that participation, making it as easy as possible for us all to come together, work together and create the world that we know is possible. So thank you for following our progress. Thank you for your support. If you're interested in more details or specifics and more links, or, or rather more links to all the open source content, visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to follow our updates that way. And thank you for watching to the end. Until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.